Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Welcome to the middle of main line. Again, we're having a look at a livery. Uh, we had a look at the livery for the uh, HST last time. That was LNER. Go watch it if you haven't. Today we are having a look at this SWR livery. And I thought it can't be too far off because it's all stagecoach. So like this could be a re-livery but un new of the whole stuff. I don't know. They probably never did that. Um, but anyway, we got this 158. Uh, we should probably get started. Uh, we're doing a run from somewhere to somewhere else. Uh, might be a good idea if I find that out. Where are we going? From Derby to Nottingham, are we? Yes. So, should be able to get up to a bit of speed. Uh, of course, we're also in the SWR 158 off Creators Club. Uh, let's turn... GSMR on. Can you register, please? Can you can you do the thing? No. Yes. No. Maybe. If I do that. Can you no. Okay. Whatever. Um. Everything else is set. We'll oh, get the door set to locked. I've turned dynamic weather off just for this run. Uh, because I don't want it to rain. Um, let's get some power. What's the starting speed? 25. Right, off we go. So yeah, expect to see loads more uh, things in both the 158 and the 43. Uh, plenty of stuff to come, obviously. Right, there we go, 25 miles an hour. Just linger here for a while before we go up to 30. Right, clear signals. Up to 30. And then also up to 75 at the same time. Over here we've got ourselves what a that's quite loud isn't it got a 37 rail freight and uh 47 some gwr coaches another 47 another 47 uh what is that 33 or 31 or something and then some 158 158 158s Right, what are you doing? We're doing 50 miles an hour. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get some screenshots. Pretty good livery as well. Oh, that was the uh, transmission changing, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'll get up to 80 miles an hour in a second. Just creeping up through 60 there. Okay, and there's a incorrect uh, speed board there, which is fantastic. So the GSMR hasn't logged my head code, which I'm a bit, eh, it really should have, but okay, sure. Does any other, I mean, none of the other stuff really has any functionality, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Be quiet. Right, here is a station that we're clearly not stopping at. Very nice. Cruising through.
The limit is 80. Oh no, it's not, it's 100 and something. All right, well, we'll cruise up to uh, to 93, which is when the um, when the engines cut out. There we are. There's 80. I'm pretty fast for a DMU now. Oh, 100 frames a second, that's nice. That's very nice. And recording. 110. Oh. And now I've got a monitor the actually, that, that will actually display that. So it should come across as silky smooth for me, but you're still watching this in 50 FPS because um, I'm being mean. Right, just coming up to 90 miles an hour. Uh, we should, I think not this signal, but it could be the one after perhaps we should start to see us getting approach controlled in because just after Long Eaton there's the the junction the Y that takes us off and around right and we're following the HST speed board because um, HS, the HST speedboards are basically just, a, from what I've read, um, redundant now. They apply to anything that has a disc brake or high power brakes. Um, just when that speedboard was introduced, most things had block brakes that took a while to, to slow down from. Right, so got the engines coming back up now. Now below 90 miles an hour again. Grab DSD. I do like the horn. It's a very unusual horn. Here we go. Here comes some uh, approach controlled shenanigans. Right, I'm going to go full brakes now. Bit of stutter. It's never a good thing. Oh, I might have overcooked it. Ugh. Oh no, it's all right. Off the brakes there. This is pretty good braking actually. Look at me, I'm so good at braking. Okay, not two brakes. Step two, step two, and step one. Step three and grab the doors there. <clears throat> oh, how about that? Two minutes early. That's you can't can't find a fault there. Just too good. Ah, oh, these timetables are kind of fucked though. There's way too much padding, especially at the end. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll end up arriving like. 10 minutes early or something. I'm not going to sit here and wait for three and a half minutes because um, why would you? Oh, should set the, uh, should have set the DRA.
but I know the location of the signal and I I've actually I've been driving as much as I fault this uh, this route I am um, I have been enjoying driving the 158 around just because it's a 158 and it's you know un unique um, and it's a decent route for it I mean it's just a bit short um, oh, what was that about oh that's the stupid TPWS isn't it is it yeah yeah the TPWS route um, loops are too oversensitive so you know that clocked me coming over at what 25 miles an hour um, tell you what, I might just reset TBWS there. Oh no, it doesn't work like that, does it? Because it's a fucking bastard. Come on. Could I just temporarily isolate it to move? There you go. You release now? No, of course not. Why would you? Oh, I fucking hate this. Yeah, this is the biggest fault with this route. Come on. There you go. Right, now I can set you back to normal. Yeah, so there's this um, red signal, which is approach control, and it'll clear before you get to it, as long as you're going 30. But there are some loops around Nottingham as well that trigger way too easily. There you go, see? We've got the diverging feather. But I'm not going to accelerate for too long because we do have a uh, 10 mile an hour restriction coming up. Maybe put a little bit more speed on. And we've lost most of the time that we made up. That's great. Okay, full service brake. Bring it down to 10. Even though the speedboard says 15, it's wrong. According to the actual game. Right, and we'll just chill here. Till we get past this 30 board. Going around the Y, stick that out just so I can see when we pass that speed board. There it is. Full power. And the next stop is Attenborough, and then it should be Attenborough Beast and, and Nottingham. Yeah. So we're due in 15 minutes, which is really quite some time, but the game's giving us six minutes to go two miles. Oh shit, it's being, okay. Not by much, actually. Lovely. Now the front of the train is uh, away from the sun. The sun's basically right up the earth. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> okay, and we can go up to 70, or is it turn out? No. Have to wait till we come back over the uh, turn out before we can go up. Up to 80. Still got five minutes to go less than two miles. So it's not that bad.
Oh, there's the level crossing. I wonder if these crossings are, um... Oh, they don't even have lights on them. Oh, what's the fucking point? Of course they're not going to be dynamic, are they? I mean, it's like going back in time. It's... Route is... I mean, I was playing on GWE, and this route is no better than it. I still play GWE occasionally. I don't make videos on it, because no one will watch them. Right, coming up to Attenborough. Okay, full brakes now. See where that takes us. Is that another? Oh, it is another SWR. Fairly sharp brake application here. Step two. Step one. Step two. Step one. Step three. And doors. I reckon I'll go at this end and grab a uh, screenshot of both of them. Oh, perhaps this end would look better. Not especially. Because there's a pole in the way. Anyway, let's get the doors closed and we'll get moving. Okay, brakes off, full power. And the next, next is Beeston, isn't it? In however many. Game only gives you two minutes to do that, so. Uh... But I think I can see it ahead, so it's... Okay. Yeah, it's definitely, I can see the building coming in, the station building coming in there. Right, there's 50 miles an hour. Still don't know what my braking distance is. I'm going to go for full brakes now, though, because I'm just abundance of caution. Actually, I'll go um, step. No, I'll release now. Okay, I'll go step uh, step three now. Step two, step one. Step two, step one. Actually, step one should bring us in. We can't, there's no point stopping now because we can't 
open the doors until 30 seconds has elapsed so I might as well get right to the end of the platform to get maximum points Okay, doors unlocked, there we go, is that, oh where did you want me to stop, what do you want, I come all this time, all the way out here and you want me to stop some mystery point halfway down the platform, you know what, it'd be good if Skyhook put some car stop signs down, you know like, um, or every other route, yeah, um, and how there are in real life. That'd be that'd be good, I reckon. Right, we'll get the doors locked. Step two. Off full power. That'd be cool if we could actually like enter stuff like the um the ap the armstrong powerhouse um 158 has all kinds of things like you enter your destination in here you can tinker around you can actually set this up properly there's all kinds of cabinets that you can interact with and that's for train simulator Right, you got some of the work done from AP. Why don't you just get the whole fucking train done from AP? It's just the, the train AP's train simulator version is just as detailed as this, right? I mean, it might not be the correct modeling for Unreal, but you know, same difference. Right, so here is the annoying bit because there's a TPWS loop that always catches me out. Well, it doesn't catch me out, it's just bugged. So on the approach, I am going to isolate TPWS. Because otherwise I'll get a knee break somewhere and it won't be very fun. Sixty miles an hour. Yeah, see that has a uh, the warning horn, but for what? It's a green signal. Okay, and in a moment... See, now we should get an AWS warning horn. Oh no, we shouldn't, because we're still going on greens. But it's somewhere along here that I get tripped up by uh, AWS, so I'll go full service now to get down to 40. Just a bit of power to keep up there. Off. Now it's right here that I get TPWS. So I just make sure I'm well over and I can unisolate TPWS. And there we go at 25 miles an hour. 
Then there's this terrifying shunt signal, which has scared the shits out of me every time. Okay, oh, got to come down to 15. I'm really paying attention, as you can see. Right, off, and we are now arriving into Nottingham. There's a glorified sound of an HST over there. The lovely throb of a VP185 engine. Just cruise along down the platform. Let's have a look at this. Oh, oh, wow! Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, right. Let's try and get some points on the stopping now. I said it'd be really early, but I'm really not. But I guess I am crawling through at like seven miles an hour. How about that? Five, what? How does that not get four, five hundred points? I was on top of it. Okay, we'll have to see how, how close I was to um, to the stop there. Have a look at that now. So 18 yards, 20 yards, 20, oh, three yards. I'll piss off. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so very much for watching this video. I hope you have a uh, lovely day. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.